one of the major stories that we've been following since its beginning was the homicide of Harpy Warlock Keith Palumbo at the hands of his own club brothers, if you will. It was a long and antagonizing ordeal for the family to have to go through something like this. Keith was found in a crypt with another body in an old cemetery. There was arrests made in this one. Uh, we have DeLuca. He just accepted responsibility for his actions in this homicide, as well as another person. Now, the ringleader, as I think it's called, or she is, is supposed to be going to either trial or something this week, but we did get word that he now has pled guilty to the homicide. And I'll read a little bit. The family did not want to do this yet, but the lies were spreading fast about Keith Palumbo. Uh, he was, of course, uh, murdered three years ago, and Mike DeLuca admitted to killing him and took full responsibility. Now, DeLuca was uh, president, whatever you want to call it, of the group. It's like the whole group was afraid of this guy. He was a, he was a nut. A guy hopped up on everything under the sun, probably. Uh, he took a plea deal and received 15 to 35 years in jail. He first has to complete his 10-year sentence on his federal gun charge before he can start key sentence. Keep 15-year part out of your head because he has repeat felonies. He must do 80% of the 35 years, so they did some math here. 10 years fed, 35 for the Keith murder, 6 back time other crime, and 5 years probation. That's about 51 years by their mass, so even if he does 80% of that time, 40.8 years, so it, he'll be in his late 70s, early 80s before he will be eligible for parole. The sentence do not run concurrent. They are consecutive. That means do one before you do the other. Uh, so anyway, they wanted to dispel the fake news. Mike took responsibility. He was asked by the judge no less than three times and he took responsibility for the crime of Keith Palumbo. Now, uh, let's see here what else we got. Uh, there's more that's going to be coming on this. Uh, the other one, Donna, she has trial, and apparently there are more serious charges coming that they were not aware of. Potential federal charges because the FBI is involved. So there's a lot of moving parts, but there is also the point that DeLuca finally paid the piper. You want to go out there, do something like this? Well, you're going to pay the piper at some point. And I really want everybody to take a look at this video. I want you to hear the words. Because this is what a lot of families face when they lose a loved one to the violence going on in the street. Maybe this will hit home with people that are in clubs. Hey, this ain't cool. We might not like this guy, but we're over here hurting the families that had nothing to do with it. Take a look at this real Three quick. Three beautiful roses. I've been here many, many times, but today's different. Yesterday, he pled guilty for killing my beautiful son, Keith. He got 15 to 35 years, plus five years, plus years on the other charges, plus the 10 years federal for the gun charge in Wyoming. Hopefully, he will never be out to hurt anybody else's loved one and make a family go through what we've gone through for the last three years which is made much harder when people like Nicol, Nicolo Del Grosso keep sticking up for this man, DeLuca, and it just makes our pain worse. I hope it stops soon. It's not done, Keith. 
but the next one is Monday and I hope she has a similar fate. Love you. Love you, Lou. Love you, Emma. Sad words right there. Sad words. You can hear the pain in her voice. Now, it seems like you got a schmuck that is going around causing this family all kinds of problems. Hell, I know the schmuck's probably on our stuff because crying and whining about our coverage of them. Oh, you're trying to make money off of this. Shut up. Shut up, you idiot. Go back, smoke your pipe. It's one thing to come after our show. It is what it is. But to go after the family with your BS, going to the mat over a scumbag, you're pathetic. You are. You're pathetic. The dude admitted he killed him. What more do you need? Do you support a killer now? Somebody who did that? Would you support the same guy? If it happened to your family, would you want some moron out there running around talking smack about your dead family member? See, that's the problem with people. They have no brains, they're morons, and they have no humanity. What are you getting out of torturing this family with your BS? What are you getting? How about you come on the show, we'll discuss it. That way you can throw all your anger towards me. Not the family. This mother lost a kid. It is every mother's worst nightmare to lose a child. And for you to keep on doing what you're doing, and they got to release the news sooner because of all the crap that's being spread. You're pathetic. You're a pathetic human being for doing some stuff like that. And again, you're invited to come on. It's not going to be by phone call. It's going to be by video chat so everybody can see who you are. And if you speak... For the club. Because I'm sure that the Harpy Warlocks ain't too pleased if they have somebody speaking on their behalf, especially upsetting the mother and the family like you're doing. So if you're the spokesman, come on. Come on over here. We'll have a great interview, but your face will be shown. And if you don't, you're a coward. You're a coward. But I am so glad that some, some you know, resemblance of peace has come from and gone to the family. This guy got me pissed. Just hearing it in her voice. How do you even wake up and live with yourself? Do you wake up and say, oh, I'm going to be a jerk today? Or I'm going to make a family's life miserable after all they went through already? Is that what you're going to do? Go hit that pipe, man. Maybe that's what you long for. Hit the pipe. Maybe your brains are fried. Anyway, going back to this other business... Donna was the one that was taking uh, care of the cemetery. And I guess this was an old cemetery where if you wanted to get rid of something, you got rid of something. And in the crypt that Keith was in, there was another body. I don't know if they identified that one yet. I got to take a little more look at it. I know we had the replay with the missing persons investigator on Christmas and that's one of the reasons why I did that is because I've always wanted to make sure that this story stayed in the public eye because it was such a horrific type of stuff. 
what happened there was not brotherhood. And I'm not saying the whole Harpy Warlocks Club. I'm not saying that. I'm talking right there in Chester. That was not brotherhood, and that's not representative of what clubs are all about. The way DeLuca did this, and if you talk to him, which I know you do, tell him Hollywood says enjoy dropping that soap. That's what I tell you. But that ain't brotherhood what happened in that chapter. It sure ain't brotherhood to go around harassing a family that has went through this type of stuff. Real world consequences when you get into this kind of business. The other guy I think uh, pleaded, I don't know if he got 13 years again. I'm going to look this up. I just had to do this video because it upset me so much that somebody's harassing this family. Going around showing, oh, I'm relevant. You are not relevant to nobody. The minute you go and harass a family of a murder victim, you're the lowest of the low on the totem pole. You're, mo you're worse than a chromo. Look at yourself in the mirror, man. Really, look at yourself in the mirror. Are you proud of what you see? Are you proud of that, hey, you're defending a guy who admitted killing this kid? And in the most cowardice way. In the most cowardice way. Unbelievable the way people have become now. No morals whatsoever. And just downright POSs, man. Down, uh, that's the only way you can think after hearing that mother's pain. Three years. Hopefully the one that's going to trial right now deals with her punishment. Pay the piper. You want to do it? Pay the piper. Don't sit there and cry in front of that judge. Don't sit there and cry how sorry you are. Take your punishment. You did it. No tears. Stand up there and accept what you did. You should be all right getting the rest of your life in jail because you took somebody else from somebody's family. So don't whine and cry. And don't look for sympathy. And don't find Jesus. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, Insane Wheels. We have a new video out every Monday and Thursday over there. We're going right now with China Doll. And Members Only is immediately after that show live every uh, Monday through Friday, 9.20 a.m. Central Standard Time. Make sure you join the Throttle Club. Rock out. And don't forget to subscribe to Insane Wheels, my newest channel over on YouTube. Everything Harley Talk, motorcycle related. It's going to be a great time over there.